right place this time. There we go. Uh, aha, nice. There we go. Okay. And the frames are not dropping. So 60 frames second, bad. 30 frames second podcast, good. We don't need those extra flames frames. It's, yeah, we, we don't need to be in full HD at this time of night. It's just it's, it's fine. It's technically still HD. Isn't 720 still HD? Yeah. Yeah, this is a lower end HD. Yeah. So we will never come to you in 4K. <laughs> no. I can guarantee you all that. So you, you don't want to see this in 4K. But yeah, good evening, everybody. Good morning, if you're in the UK. This is the Game One Podcast. This is season three, episode three of the podcast. I am Lar Teammaker, aka Will McKellar, and joining me, as always, all fresh and alert, not like this mug here, <laughs> is Eggleman. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and special hello to Fem Fox. I, I had to run out of the the TKO, so I apologize for just like disappearing. <laughs> <laughs> and just across here to my left, the man with the Shut alarms, the man with plans. <laughs> it is James Atkinson. Thank you, Reese, for that. Perfect timing, as always. They Thank throw you, the Reese. money at my introduction. Just like, just like any oh, good old time. I got time. things in my eyes again. I've been oh. getting things in my eyes all week. It's the pollen. No, it's eyelashes. Caused by pollen. Because I wish New England. That would. Um, oh, well, I'm. I'm in. I'm in not New England right now. So. It's close enough to New England. <laughs> it's also been raining here like for the past two days, so it's been nice. Yeah, it hasn't been here. It's supposed to be better here. So, as as with all good New Englanders, we must first complain about the weather. Get that over and done with. Even us old Englanders will, will complain about the weather. Oh no, exactly. <laughs> like, by the, by the way, uh, I should announce everybody. Uh, big big round of applause to England right now. Big round of applause for England. Uh, without you, this independence would have never been possible. So we want to thank you, <laughs> thank you for our independence. It's been truly awesome, and we've enjoyed most of it. Yeah. At least a portion. A portion. Uh, I mean, obviously, without you, 53 other independences couldn't have been possible either. So we appreciate what you've done for the world. You, you bloody ungrateful colonists, that's what I can tell you. <laughs> I, I, would, I, would, I, would perf I would happily come back. To the, into the fold at this point. No problem. I would Shut secede up, back into it. It's better. Ooh, more cheers. That, Thank you, very much just, you just still have to apologize for Australia. We're still waiting on that one. Yeah, no, like that 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 one you really need to apologize for. Those people caught the short end of this thing. You put them on a death island. Well, well you know, if you believe flat earthers, Australia doesn't exist, they're whackers. I mean, don't don't yeah have a flat earther tell that to an Australian and see what happens. <laughs> yeah, I, to I don't know. They mumbled hear. something about marmite last time I approached someone. <laughs> I went to hear. Oh, oh, that hurts! Stop it! Oh. But remember that the, the obviously the best thing when you need to do is when talking to one is give them a Vegemite sandwich. <laughs> and don't don't fresh her in front of Barbie. No, that's. Because that's a weird image of a shrimp on a Barbie doll, for one. And, you know, it's... it's and they just look at you and go... What's on the size of a prawn on a Barbie, perfectly fine. Makes sense. Shrimp on a yeah. Barbie, not so much. <laughs> so... <laughs> uh, shrimp gonna... on a blimp. <laughs> it's... That is some high-flying dinner. Yeah, well, no, it's because it's, it's American. Because we it's something we would definitely do. Or dope on a rope, or as, or as we like to properly call it, one of those Trump balloons that are going to be flying over London next week. Oh, he is oh, specifically avoiding London. Is... A bald patch. For most of it, yeah. Um, so, yeah, so what's on the, on, on the show tonight? There's a couple of actual news bits we could talk about, because we could talk about the uh, Article 13 stuff and also Twitch London. We could talk about that, uh, what we've been playing, uh, any bits and rants that we could 
come out from from our minds right at you like a hey, mind gun. it's polo I and polo sam them. and uh, plonsum for those who want to pronounce it wrong plonsum yeah plonsum yep plonsum <laughs> The hi, Palonsum, as you will now be called. <laughs> Just like oh, this hi, is Mom. two whippies. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, hello. And so, yeah, so shout outs and all that good stuff. <laughs> See, in between. So, yeah, I think we're going to get started then, really. Uh, article 13, lads. Meme review will still exist. <laughs> <laughs> uh congratulations uh the, the memes are 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 a thing still uh, <laughs> yeah, I th- they did not ban they, memes they, they did not ban memes I, I think the big thing too is that they realized is that it, it's not a fact that they wanted to ban memes i think it was a fact that they realized that there was no way that they could technically enforce the law just because the sheer amount of money that would have to be put in to create infrastructure for basically what would come down to a YouTube version of the copyright system, which would just mm-hmm. fucking suck. It wouldn't work. No. Well, I think 288 MPs wanted to try it. Of all people, it's like, really? But, I mean, let's be honest, they probably also didn't understand how the internet worked. Yeah. It's probably just <laughs> bought Riz Johnson should go, Well, I think we should make them all the means. By the way, I think that's how Boris Johnson sounds in my head. I don't know if it's right, but that's what I'm going with. Because he looks like he should just have, like, the jowls. Just wiggling all over the place. He's like... I mean, he looks like English Donald Trump. He's got the bad blonde hair that is going all over the place. <laughs> he sounds like a child. <laughs> Okay, hold on. I get the. At times, he, at times, he's a bit more popular though, which is weird. Well, somebody because he's he was part pop- of a party that's disgusting. I just, I just don't like. I just when I when I think of like British politician, I just mean like bully, bully, bro, 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 bully, bully, bully. That's just like what I go to. That's <laughs> really tough. Yeah, he's, yeah, because he's part of the um, Bullingdon boys. In the courts. Oh, he he sounds. Club. I just I just took a listen. He sounds exactly like what you think a British person would sound like when you think British person talking. Yeah, the stereotypical British person talking that is like Boris Johnson. Estuarian British person. Mm. Etonian lot. Like BBC, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so like he, so when you when I when I'm driving you around think a BBC. Okay, so not narrator, a... but just speaker. Guest sp- BBC guest speaker. That's exactly what he sounds like. Okay. All right. So, so yeah, he's so he's he... one person I can listen to and then emulate and not piss anybody off. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. That. Like Stephen Fry in Black Adder goes forth, says Gary. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Making sense now. We're making... Connections are being made here. Yeah, so. yeah, not Lord Flashheart, because Lord Flashheart as Boris Johnson would be one hell of a freaky image that would scar in people's minds for about the next 50 billion years. And, you know, you, when you see that image, you mind you go like this. <laughs> <laughs> so memes are safe. It, 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 this makes sense, obviously, because hmm. if I was reading um, a, an article, I think it was on... I think it was on the New York Times. No, it was the Wall Street Journal. Wall Street Journal right. said that it basically it costs YouTube like fifty three million dollars to R and D develop and maintain so far their copyright system, <laughs> which seems to want to have a shit ton of ours of our videos on that. Yeah, where's all that money going? <laughs> that 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 is that is just a question. That that is a larger topic for YouTube as a whole. Yeah. Where's all that money going? On honestly, like fifty-four million for that. At, like well, just research, honestly, research development and then maintaining costs. So it's like what it's cost them up to this point. Yeah, because I, I would also love to find out and, and know who it was that wanted to copyright our show in their name, because that one there's one there's one that's got a copyright bit on it. And it's like, hang on. It's our podcast. What are you on that's, about? That's 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 not that's 
Well, we, we're speaking here, guy. This is not yours. This is ours. Th <laughs> there's also a guy who has his own song copywritten against him right now on his own YouTube channel. Like, he wrote, oh, produced, played his own song, and it is copyright <sighs> strike. And it's a strike against his own channel. But, yeah, no, like, the system is absolutely broken. Yet here's the thing, it it never really used to be a pro. I mean, it was it was always bad, but it's just gotten worse. So it's not gotten better. So like, <laughs> their R and D seems to be doing the opposite of what they want. But this just makes me think this. So if if YouTube can't get it, what is big government gonna do that makes it any better? Absolutely nothing. I think it would make it a hundred times worse. Exactly. Cause... Because then you, you, you've got to encapsulate, you know, Twitch in there as well as Twitter, Facebook, all these other social medias, like Instagram as well. Let, cause, Cause, I mean, this one fly has been it's... in my life for too long. Because once again, if... France, beautiful area. <laughs> Italy, wonderful countryside. But the amount of people who actually know what the fuck memes are in the government... In Italy's sense, like France, I give, I, I, I have hope because the prime minister is young, and I think where he's young enough in the sense where he may not understand what memes are, but understands that there's a cultural relevance to, to, to his, a younger demographic. Like if you pointed at a meme and asked him, "What is this? Is this his a meme?" Would be, <laughs> well, this, this seems to be a joke. Seems to be a it seems to be a, a joke image of some sort, but he's also like he would be receptive to hear that. Now, I mean, like let's be honest, like the, the Mussolini like characters that are running around Italy right now. Because let's be honest, that's that's weird happening down there. <laughs> and 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 asking Germany to police anything. Uh, what we have here, we are going to now not allow these things in here. We are going to take the memes. They're going to go to their own special place in the internet. We'll call it a camp. We will hold them all there, and then we will slowly destroy them. Any uh, letters of complaint go to the email of James at the at the <laughs> <laughs> I what what they. Put, it's, it's what we're doing right now with illegal immigrants. We're just putting them in camps. It's perfectly fine. <laughs> I mean, at least that's I what think, I'm told. I think with Ger if they, if they were last year, they they would you know Germany these days would do quite well of policing. <clears throat> but anyway, <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's let's get that one. We we, we, uh, we all understand though, who would be the worst hit. <laughs> Swedish EDM. Yeah, Sweet EM yeah. would just be destroyed. Or it would like or it would become even more cool because then it would then become underground again. Well No, Sweden would just get more money. <laughs> Cause Does Sweden need more Sweden... money? <laughs> Sweden's the one who has like all of the producers and writers. So they're the ones who would have things copyrighted in their names. So Sweden would just get more income. But no, Sweden doesn't need more money. <laughs> I'm, glad, I'm glad common sense prevailed in this so far. Yes, I really am. And I think that's more because more people are just like, we just don't understand this and we can't police it. Yeah, because I just think the, the one of the best memes I've seen this week would be completely Shut up and take gone. My money. And that's the one with the annoying bird meme. <laughs> that, that, you, mean, you mean like PewDiePie's meme? Kind of, yeah. You know, it got a little bird on the tree, and it had a little wet, red, white, and blue hat on, and it's going, "Ooh, Fourth of July, Independence!" And you got a big crow coming and going, "It's coming home, it's coming, football's coming home." Is the annoyed look on its face at the end? <laughs> Which one of my budgies looked like the other day? <laughs> so that's a crazy fact for you. I'm just looking at it, going, "Bloody hell, you're a meme." <laughs> Just looks at it as non plus because doesn't have a fucking clue what I'm talking about. But <laughs> so yeah, get the annoyed look on her face when I'm trying to talk to her. Um, but, but you wouldn't get that meme, and that and that that would be a shame because it it would stifle so so much creativity on the internet. And yeah, I'm glad I'm glad comments so much and just so much free marketing. 
Yeah, because you know, you know, game devs and game publishers would be all over that like a rash. Some, of them, so, you know, a lot of them would be handy and go, yeah, yeah, you can use it. It's fine. You, you're advertising for us, but you know, there will be some that just wouldn't like it, like Nintendo if they're doing the YouTube stuff, because their YouTube position still isn't great. Here, here's the they thing. Does Rick Astley have as much of a career as he does without memes? Not these days. It's almost like a revival for him. Yeah, like mm-hmm. he he has literally got up because of his one song. I'm never gonna give you up. He has had a career off of that, and it, it, he's he's kind of hit the point where he's embraced it and he's moving on with it. But it's, you know, people have had careers off of memes. Like Tanacon, Tanamundo is gonna have a career after the clusterfuck that Tanacon was. Oh. You mean you mean uh, Dashcon two? Dash country, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a bit of news we could talk about. Do we have any opinion on this? I don't. But I'll let scam. you guys talk about it. Do you know? Do you know about it, Will? Uh, me and James, to- uh, me, and James, me and Chris were talking about it the other day. Um, it was a long conversation we had the other night, which was good. But, but yeah, so I'll let you guys talk about this. One. It was poor planning. Yeah. I wouldn't even call it poor planning. It was a cash grab. Uh, I would call it a cash grab. It and was, pe- and people like being oppressed outside cons. That's I'm so I'm quoting, I'm quoting directly here. No. <laughs> so, what happened was, Tana rented out this place that could house five thousand people. There was this whole spiel about people getting free tickets and then premium passes and whatnot. And she said, you get to go meet some YouTube creators. We've got a few people that you like to meet, including a handful of people that typically don't do events because they don't like them. And then it just all went to shit. And it was it was Dashcon all over again, minus the ball pit. Hey, ball pits are cons. It could be quite fun. So I read an in- interview that they did with the, the head of VidCon. I think it was Tom. Is it Green? Um, and Hank, he, Hank and Tom Green, yeah. Hank and Tom Green. So it was Tom Green that they, they pulled out. He used to be the CEO of YouTube, and now he just runs VidCon. Yeah. And, um, you know, props to him. Because he said, <laughs> uh, that, he said that a lot of this probably spurned out of the fact that when she came to VidCon... They didn't give her like a feature creator status, which means they didn't have security and they didn't have certain areas for her. So when she was out walking the floor, she got mobbed by people and mobbed by her friends, and it caused their them to like zone her out of places. This is how she wanted, why she wanted to do Tanacon, and he came out and said, "We this was that was a mistake on our part, not realizing with the amount of we we judged it, we can we were conservative based on channel metrics, not about people who would show up." And we should have given her creator status, and we sh- and we could have, you know, done better to have her have a bit, her and her fans have a better experience at VidCon 2017. Now that being said, that doesn't mean that he is the reason for the fault of TanaCon, but he can see that it's kind of the inception moment that led them down the path of just stupider and stupider events that led to the TanaCon thing happening. So, I mean, hindsight's being 2020. But at least he's looked at it and can kind of see, like, yeah, we fucked up here, which caused this to happen. Does that make us a little bit responsible? Maybe in some sense, because if we didn't do that, maybe she doesn't do this con and we don't have, like, you know, people going to the hospital. But at the same time, they didn't throw the con on the same weekend as VidCon, understaffed, underwatered, just under thing, taking people money. And by the way, they they are offering refunds, but you have to specifically email them to get it. You have to reach out to them to request a re- refund. That sounds familiar. Sony did that. Sony did that with the PS3 bit. Um, when, you remember when PS3 was... Um, in, I mean, this is in the States, but when, when PS3 decided to lose the Linux... Um, ability 
the 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 whole court case went through. Uh, was it last year? So last year or twenty sixteen, um, where you could basically get a bit of a refund because in the states it was told, yeah, this bit of thing that you were sold has been taken away from you, so you're entitled to a refund because your machine is not doing what you paid for. Yeah, it's, it was just a cluster. So, but you had to go out to Sony and request it the same way. So, needless to say, don't throw a con unless you know what you're doing. That being said, uh, at the same time, Summer Games Done Quick raised over $2.1 million for Doctors Without Borders, a million dollars in one day. Nice. Very nice. And it was only kind of cringy. Yeah, the, I there wasn't too much of Summer Games Done Quick that I was really, really watching this year. All the VODs are up now. Yeah. A lot of the cringy bits, um, there's, there was a cringy bit of uh, them singing, but the, Disney singing. Yeah. the Disney first singing. comment was, I'm pretty sure they were just trying to cover their ass because of copyright stuff. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, too, that like, yeah. like, like these, these are copywritten songs. When's Tig Whippy's con? That, fam, that, uh, if you, if you want to find somebody to run it, we're fine. I, I, I am not going to take on that liability. <laughs> Tig Whippies will go to cons. I don't think there will be a Tig Whippies con. We will be guests at cons. We will be on stage getting talked to at cons if you really want. We will you even know. do a live show at cons. I'll, I'll just state this. If we do somehow manage to get big enough to actually warrant setting up our own meetup, um, I, I would not do that lightly i would do that very very keenly i'd be talking to people from pax i'd be talking to people from other major events i'd be talking to organizers i'd be talking to people who've been doing it for a very 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 long time yeah who know how to yeah. make this work and, and i would run like test runs <laughs> yeah no there would be a dry there would be a soft opening there would be tickets, even if they don't cost anything, just so that we can know we have sold out of the venue. This is legally what the fire marshals will let us have in the building. Mm -hmm. This is what the in this is the infrastructure that we have to support this event. Like people were like, "Hey, let's do this," but it was like any good idea ever was just like, "Hey, let's do a thing," and just not think about the logistics. I remember Green in his interviews was said he. he his secu head of security was watching it with the, the Tanacon things. He said, this is all of his worst nightmares in one scenario playing out in front of him. <laughs> Five people turn up and free the brass. I pay control of screen changes and audio for stage streams. Sure. I mean, that's yeah. something we would need. Damn right. Now the question is like, would would like a Tig Whippy's live show just be everybody staring awkwardly at each other because nobody wants to talk? So it's like I mean a bit, <laughs> a bit like Twitch London. Okay, so that's what Twitch London was like. It was just like getting a lot of people who are like minded and very socially, you know, are very social in a sense of like when they're not face to face with people, but get them face to face with people, and it's just like that. That would be not as not as bad but yeah generally would we i mean like i know i wouldn't have to wear a name badge i think i i think the three of us are relatively like oh that's that's will that's chris that's james i'd have to wear a name badge because i look oh, like I too to. many people <laughs> 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 yeah, just some random guy tomorrow. walks up hi guys uh i'm i'm the hergel man that's it's it's um, hergel man the hergel the, man the, the hero the Dave of, uh, <laughs> Dave. The beard is game, Hangle, man. I'm just Chris. <laughs> My beard favorite game memes. is Dark Souls 2. <laughs> but, <laughs> but we'd, yeah, we'd, no. we'd all shave. And get our I do need a hero outfit. I do need a hero outfit. Don't you have a hero outfit coming soon? No, I have a hero oh, portrait coming portrait. soon. Good. Nice. There's By only... soon, I mean eventually. Because I need to throw another like 200 bucks. But like, that's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting it. It's on its way. It's it's a slow process. It's step by step. Yeah. Just one bit at a time, you know, baby steps. Baby and and Malinoy, I would agree. Uh, Tig Whippy's Cod would should be hosted at at Corby Town FC's uh the Steel Park. Yeah, Steel Park. It should be there. Steel, that, Park, cause Steel Park can hold five hundred people, five thousand people. 
it there has you go. it has seating and standing room for five five thousand people. Yeah, open air, so you know you you, you won't get the uh, the aircon getting clogged up with germs and stuff. So you know the, the con lurgy has has permits already for alcohol mm-hmm. and food on premises. Is also in the lovely downtown suburbs of Corby, which is very close to a lot of shopping and food centers. Exactly, you know, you've you've only got like about five ten minute walk away from from a subway, from a Pizza Hut, from a Greg's. So the, even the and, American people would know this. Oh, that's a Pizza Hut. I can eat there. Mm-hmm. Let's have that with Domino's. And a <laughs> permit for draft time. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I, I'm not sure if anybody's sorry, but we uh we Take with Peace now has, we are we sh- we are now also a hundred percent behind the scottish league cup which is the iron brew cup so scottish football funny. has the iron brew cup which i believe I we could all get behind oh yeah we, we i think can. so yep iron brew cup i we found can. that and i was just like <laughs> bravo found it guys linking tig whippies and soccer slash football together through our love of Iron Brew. In one package of gloriousness. Maybe it's got one by Grinders. Probably. Yeah. That used to be so that used to be the whole advert thing. It's like Iron Brew made in Scotland by Gunders. <laughs> right. Twitch so, London. Yeah, tell us about <laughs> Twitch London. So nobody talked. Yeah, well, they did they did it was it, it wasn't as bad as i as as, as i made out i mean yeah you're you're gonna we were socially all there we weren't exactly you know the life and soul of my up general going hello 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 how are you hello hello um you we you were really chasing down that top spot he really is going after it, isn't he wow it's got like um, 35 yeah, so, more so yeah it was it was more like a party. It was more like a celebration, fair community meetup thing. Yes, we had to have badge, badges, ideally, so we could so we could introduce ourselves, which does lead to a big awkward thing for you know uh, social awkward people going, hmm, ladies, it, in a hot in hot weather, where are they going to stick these badges? On lanyards. <laughs> so, so On we have lanyards. to be careful. No. Some of them, yes, but no. So it's like you know, you, you have to, you have to almost like apologize. Like, excuse me, I'm definitely not staring at your chest. Your name is Ah. Oh, hello, how are you doing? So oh, that, see, see, that's not part that, of the Twitch that, terms and conditions. That's that breaking the Twitch terms and conditions. <laughs> Free femmes nipple piercing. <laughs> that's one way to keep you on the other. Hacks has a very keen, keen um, policy. Mm. Um, you must keep your badge completely visible mm. at all times and flipped around so that you can see the type because they have different levels and tiers of badges. Yeah, It's very important. And what people do, what the enforcers are told and trained to do, is if you see someone who does not seem to have a badge, you stop them and you ask to see the badge. And then you tell them, Keep it in sight and keep it facing outward. That is that is what we did. Did they did they literally just have the "Hello, my name is" stickers? Yeah, pretty much. And you also had like the uh, the moderator one. You had the sort of um, affiliate one as well and partner one. So you did you, you had enough badges there or stickers to tell you, you know, who you are and what you do as part of that. So you know. Now, did they have you your name, located. or did they have your Twitch name? Uh, you put your Twitch name on there. Okay. All right. It's just so everybody can go, oh, that's who you are on God, Twitch. God, if you're really bad for that one kid, you know, Donkey Punch 69. <laughs> Donkey oh! Dragon 69. <laughs> oh, no. Or, or the other one that was that was really bad is um, the, the one that was in um, Vicky's stream. A while back with um you know ice old ice and wallow 
and then C O M E. Put it all together in your head, folks. Oh, Just I, I did. I, I Redacted. Redacted. Just imagine having <laughs> that, having that on the sticker saying, "Hello, my name is." <laughs> Do you? because <laughs> hell we spent most of that bloody stream taking the piss out of me because i I do say it i went oh that's what it was is it so yeah now also now add in the fact that they had to change venues pretty much last minute because the original venue they wanted shut down and so they couldn't go to it so they had to scramble for that what it turned out was it almost felt like almost like an attic sort of area base right but really really hot summer's day two and a half thousand people it got boiling in there and they had like this um bar area right in the middle of this room i um yeah so they had so they had to yeah so there was about four different Bar people do it, it no really, really slow and they ran out of water for people to be you know hydrated during this and it was wow um so in terms of that that wasn't great the plus side was meeting people you know we didn't meet a few people we've even got some you know some some business cards here all here look look business cards business cards we got from people so including one that i believe you guys might like uh, which is a uh, Draconia, Draconia, who does a lot of um, RPG tabletop D and D stuff on their streams. They do like the one-off runs once a month, so you guys might like that. Oh, well, I um, have, I have our, I have my three-session run of a game ready. Hmm. I, I'm quite pleased with where it's going to go. Nice. So, so in in a way, it was for stuff like that. If you're really engaged and you're really up for meeting people, it's a perfect, perfect scenario for you to do. And you know, I met Weeds, I uh, met Letitia again, and there's a couple of people I met um, there that one of them looked at me and went, "Our team maker, I know that name. I'm sure I see, I've heard that name from somewhere." So, and so the conversation got started properly. Um, but it, yeah, it's, it was just like a it was just like a big party really for you know, mods, viewers, affiliates, and partners. So it was a mingler. Yeah. So Will's going to fancy you Twitch parties. That's what we're basically we've gotten out of this. So Will's <laughs> Will's going to fancy dress <laughs> Twitch parties. Yep, that sounds about right. Mm -hmm. Fancy dress. I turned up in the breakdancing loud uniform. A fancy dress. <laughs> you yeah, can get that in a party. polo. Which we need to do for AGX. Yeah, I'm working on it. Well, because... uh, yeah, actually, I am working on it because we have store financing and wearing. Mm. Yeah, because we need we need that for EGX for our advertising. Because um, also EGX, while I'm talking about it, uh, Saturday night we are going to another one of the after parties. Now, before anyone says, I you know you're thinking, you're like, hang on, gee, you said that was utter bollocks. Yes, yes, I did. You're right. This year, Wi-Fi Wars has returned to it. And uh, they're going for the world record again because they lost it um, last year for the most people pay, playing Palm. So, of course, we've got to go get help Steve and King Rob try and get it back again. So, yeah, that's pretty much, that's pretty much the Twitch bash. James, you want to do the uh, housekeeping because we haven't done the housekeeping yet. Yeah, yeah, I can do housekeeping. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so, let's talk about something here, people. I need you to understand something. That your your donations are great, your subscriptions are awesome, and your bits and your bits are great. They help out so many streamers, so many affiliates do so many things. But we're not here to talk about that. What we're here to talk about kids all right november's coming up it is literally like five days away and by five days i mean like months and by months i mean i have no fucking idea what day or month it actually is but anyways it's coming soon it's like christmas 
Except if Christmas was you donating money for kids to be able to play video games. Right? Because ultimately, isn't that what Christmas is about? Capitalism? And giving to giving games and stuff to people who aren't as fortunate as you so you can feel better about the fact that you went out and spent $500 on the Steam Summer Sale mainly because you were just buying all of the Payday 2 content? Because really, anyway, that's what you did. That's why anybody spends money on the Steam Summer Sale because Payday 2 comes out and you're like, I'm not going to spend $5.99 on this DLC. It's not worth it. But then when there's 99 cents it pop, you're like, fuck yeah, this is great. And then you realize it's been 800 DLCs and $500 later, you're like, shit, I feel really bad about this. You know what you could do? You could take $100 of that and you could donate it to Extra Life. And you can do that to help support the Hartford Children's Network Hospitals for kids. And you want to know what? You can feel a little bit better about those video games because they're not as guilt as they were before because hell guess what now those kids can also play that payday 2 game or probably minecraft or fortnite so then you can play fortnite with them by the way free game so you didn't need to spend that money on there shame on you you could have just played fortnite it's the biggest game in the world people and it's free and you can donate money so that kids can play fortnite because guess what? It may be a free game. Still got to buy the console and the PC that that's on. Hospitals got to do that. Guess what? Donate money. Kids play Fortnite. Everybody's happy. They can go off, become a professional Fortnite player, win millions of dollars in the Fortnite pro am, and give it back to you so you can spend $500 more on the next Payday DLC. See? It's a circle of life. That's how it happens. It's how it rolls. You give, you get back. You feel good about yourself. You make kids feel good about themselves. It's perfect logic. So do it. Donate to Extra Life. You've got till November. We'll wait. We'll be here. I'll talk to you guys about it every single time. I will come up with more witticisms than you could even physically imagine. Here's the scary part about all this. I'm stone cold sober right now. <laughs> imagine what happens when I start drinking. Oh my god. It is going to be amazing. By the way, do you know that you could get Chris to play Bloodborne? Bloodborne. He not, will... not just play Bloodborne. I will go buy a PS4 right? and play Bloodborne. You will make him spend I'm not borrowing it. <laughs> his hard earned money for donating to kids. He will speed run Bloodborne. He will get world record time in Bloodborne that's, for I, the that's... first time ever playing the game. World nope, record, that's... personal best, playing Bloodborne first time. I'm just going to keep eating these. If your these name foods. is Chris Hergelman. 100% true. Fact. Not even close. That's 0% what I said. No. If your name is Chris Hergelman and it's your first time playing Budboard, it will be your world record. My my world record. That's what I said. Sure. Your world record. Number one. 10 out of 10. Best it's thing true. ever. It will happen. And you I know how you do that? I'm peanut butter now. Two thousand dollars during during his stream, which is when November third, starting I believe with the Tig Whippies uh, broadcast. Yes, I, I'm. I might be willing to do that as the the halfway mark, depending. So, yes. Now, I, once, again, once again, it's November second is the Friday. So. Oh right. Okay. So. So then. But but dates. Right. Right. Reese, no, no, he, he, he's, he can't do it that way yet. He has to at least learn the controls. Because we all know Bloodborne is a little bit different than Dark Souls because you actually have a gun. Yeah, and that's yep. the parry system. Not, yes. you know, it's, it's more aggressive rather than defensive and rolling out the way and stuff. It's gun and it's horror and I'm pretty sure you fight Dracula. So, probably. Um, but the other thing is that during that, <laughs> during the stream... Uh, donors will be able to add modifiers to my playthrough where I have to do specific things, such as uh, what goes into my main hand, my offhand, my rings, my armor. That type of stuff. So, so there you go. That's why you're donating for kids. That's the important thing right now. Now, you can take those Twitch primes and those bits revenues and whatever you do in the meantime, still spread them around doing that already i've educated you on that you are all intelligent human beings and i trust that you have after me speaking to you about this for probably the last 
two years have understood the importance of that. To understand that by your donation and your bits, that helps streamers. You understand that. You get that. I understand that you get that because you are smart and you are special and I understand that. But kids need to be able to play Fortnite so they can win money to donate it back to you for Bayday 2 DLC. And that's the most important thing right now. I don't know there's going to be at least two more uh, donations coming in to begin with. At least two more. One of them is from me because of the uh, Pinball Tuesday stuff. Every time I beat my high score that's currently sitting on the table for Pinball FX free, I will give a dollar. If I double it or more, it'll be two dollars. Kind of like what I did a couple of years ago when I did the Pinball for 24 hours. If I'm just spreading it across. And Kim, a wonderful patron saint of Tick Whippy, has decided that when I finish Pinball Tuesday, if I finish it before, um, if I finish it before Extra Life or parts of it during Extra Life, wherever that cutoff point is, she will match my donation to Extra Life. There you go. See? And, you know, we've got to give Stupidly Epic um, a shout out because he's got the ball rolling. Our first hundred dollars towards our two grand target is there. It's already in the and, bank. And we've also been given a little bit of an extra incentive. If we reach $5,000, which is over 3000 over our main target, I will one-on-one -on -one Kung Fu Panda with Tim Paulin. In panda suits? Don't know about panda suits from Tim, but I'll, re I'll redone the panda, panda onesie for that. There you go. For $5,000 in there to go to kids to help them. Yeah. So there you go. Kids, Fortnite, money, winning games, panda onesies, kung fu. Synergy. Exactly. And that's it. Do it. Do it. Help us get help us beat those targets. Help the kids get, you know. You got time. You got time. Plenty of. We just start that early. I'm only going to let you know about it every Friday. <laughs> only every should... Friday. Until you're so sick of it, you'll chuck money at us to shut us up. Exactly. Cool. That's the only... The best. We hit our goal. I'll shut up. That simple. Stop talking about it. Mm. So, yeah. What have been playing then, mate? Uh, do you want to go first? Me? Yeah. I played Prey. I streamed Prey. Do you know there's something interesting right now if you go to the Tig Whippy's YouTube channel? The first VOD's up. It's there. Sitting waiting for you. 30 minutes. Bang. That happened. Guess what's happening Not tomorrow? Bad. Second VOD's up. Because it's happened on Sunday. Third VOD's up. Three days of Prey. My God, James. What are you doing? I'm a madman. <laughs> Creating YouTube content. By we do that? Yeah. <laughs> By streaming it. So I'm streamed it. Streamed it live. People laughed. There was much hilarity. Uh, yes. Wrenches were thrown. <laughs> Poop was done. Poop was Paranoia done. Paranoia was had. Paranoia. Yeah, no. I I'm making peanut butter with a chopstick, by the way. I'm not surprised. It was not weirded out in the slightest. Lights That's were left on in the house. Uh, the, there was a healthy distrust of anything coffee mug. Now. Uh, or chair. Or chair. No, really just any object. I missed my box because I was just going to use it to throw at everything. But anyways, so I played Prey. It was fun. I've played it a bit before. I'm going to actually try and stream it and beat it. And my plan is to at least have a video, a half an hour video come out every day on our YouTube channel, which is most likely a clipped up version of a VOD of a stream that I've done. Which means at the minimum three and a half hours of streaming for me a week. Hmm. I mean, that was an hour and a half yesterday. Yes. So I just have to build up, you know, the backlog a little bit. Get it. I've got, I've got editing. I can do that on this computer now. So I could do that. Get it all set. Uh, but yeah, I played Prey. It was fun. Uh, I played Battlestar Galactica 
something 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 um Battlestar Galactica Deadlock Do you know what Battlestar Galactica Deadlock is? No. It's a real-time strategy space battle game where you build and you fight the Cylons and you can build and manage a fleet. It's basically Yeah. And also has all the music uh from the Battlestar Galactica TV series. The the, the like the sci-fi series, not the 80s series. Um, so that was a lot of fun. Uh, they, there may be more about that. I also have pe- pet people. Pet people? Pet people. Which is an RTS strategy game in lieu of like Newgrounds comic drawings. It's done by... Oh, God, I need to find the name of these guys now. Because uh, it's important because it's, it's the, the people who are known... Mm. Pit P E Pit People Pit People It's done by <laughs> the developer The Behemoth And you may say James who is the Behemoth That is a good question And I will answer that uh, They have been known for such things as Alien Hominid Castle Crashers Battle Block Theater Oh nice they yeah. made this game called Pit People. Uh, and it's pretty hilarious. It stars Horatio, who is a mustache wielding blueberry farmer that they he's just going to roll over and die. And yes, I'm paraphrasing exactly what the game says. <laughs> so we're just reading the uh, press. Piece. I'm just reading what the game tells me to read. Uh, also, uh, it, because it was given to me for my birthday, so that's the reason why I got it. Uh, I'm also waiting on Yakuza 0 to become available for PC because I bought that on the Steam Summer Sale. Nice. nice. So, uh, so there will be some Yakuza. And goddamn, I don't give a shit about what gets copywritten anymore. <laughs> well, it's not as if they can take I'm going to Yakuza all over the YouTube channel. Mm. Also, I played Football Manager. Because three of you could three and fours on there as a play for Oh, this is zero. We're mm. prequeling this shit. Because also yeah. now they're releasing all the Kiwami games, but those Kiwami games are also coming out for PC. By the way, Yakuza Zero was fifteen bucks. I know, Fucking right? Bargain. 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 I've got to play more of it. because uh, I just I've just completely dropped off. But you know what I could have done with that fifteen bucks? I could have donated it to kids. B didn't. <laughs> but I will. Because I might be able to get my employer to match donations. Hey. We're going to work on that. Nice. The problem is it involves, it involves me talking to my employer and telling them about this, which means then people at work will then understand that I do this. And I'm not ready to get... We're, 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 they know I'm weird. They just, just don't know I'm that weird yet. <laughs> but that's all I've been playing. Also, nice. Metal Gear Solid 5 is on the horizon. Probably after prey. Oh boy! Nice, very nice. Um, I'll just quickly go through what I've been playing. Um, uh, online, but basically extreme stuff. Um, you know, I started Pinball FX three because Pinball, you know, has returned. It's Night for Elite version two. I started. There's more graphic nut shots coming your way, and you know, shooting more Germans because you know, back in World War Two, shooting them was apparently fun. <laughs> Playing more on rush, got a little bit further. Started dishonored, definitely outsider. Not really going for knockouts uh, bits. I'm just going for straight out kills on this one. Stealth kills, so I don't get caught. Slow, you know, like every Skyrim game. This time I'm going to two be a two-handed wielding rare. Fuck sneaky archer. <laughs> <laughs> every time. If that God time. Damn. Uh, and played a lot of Dragon Age, including a six-hour stream earlier today for it, um, which included how to be a boss. Because remember how I said I was going for the double cross in, in a, a, a quest where, the, the, you know, you go through to this big cave and it's about three or four of them standing there. And it's sort of like this weird cult right. that's wanting to take this vial of blood, pop it into an urn full of ashes and sort of resurrect this, this dragon sort of thing and rest day 
Um, now, every you time I said no... Him, God. Yeah. Okay. Following. Mm-hmm. So, they, they, you know, I, I originally kept saying no and kept getting slaughtered by them. Even with change of tactics and, you know, set up for... Because of the real-time strategy set up, you know, Dragon Age, the controls. But then I thought, you know what? Bugger this. I'm, I'm not going for hiding to nothing at the I'm going to go with this. I'm going to say, okay, we'll we'll do it for you. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink, and sort of into the camera, you know, breaking that for. And I managed to pull that off. I managed to pull off the double cross because we got to, we got to the end. We, you know, took a handful of the ashes out there to try and, you know, wake up our, uh, Eamon, who is, was currently lying, like, almost like in a coma after an attack he, he had. Um, and we did it, we managed it, and the way we managed this was I, I took control of the healer of my party, and when they kept centering and targeting her, run off and keep out of their reach while the, my three uh, NPCs were just raining down with sword shots on the guy running after her. And it worked. Bloody worked, and they killed him. <laughs> and I was amazed because my healer folds under this barrage very quickly. Once that happens, yeah, it's fucked. Like, but once once you take control, stop. Yeah, victory, boss done. And I actually made some real progress, actual tangible real progress on a game that just felt like it's just dragging. Okay. But then again, it's an RPG, of course it will, because it's big. Uh, that's it's much dragging on for ages. See what you did there. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> that's good punnage. But that's all I've been playing uh, this week. Chris, what are you been up to, matey? I'm playing a lot of uh, Dark Souls clones. Um, I got around to Lords of Fallen, and it is big, clunky, and heavy. And I figured out why it feels so bad to play off of the tutorial level. Um. I then got to um, the Surge, and I'm not good at it. And considering that I want to keep my Dark Souls skills, I'm not going to try to get good at it. But I can see where its strengths lie. There's a few little downsides to the Surge. One, I don't know about if they address that in the Surge 2, but I'm figuring things out. But mostly, I've been playing Neverwinter Nights Extended Edition on this Ravenloft server. Slowly making my way downtown, trying to level up. Because it's really difficult. I've gotten one level since last week. And oh boy, I fought tooth and nail to get that one level. So I'm uh, working towards that next one. I'm also enjoying peanut butter because I sat down, we started talking, and then my buddy was just like, you need to food right now. (laughs) Well, it's a smart choice. Obviously, peanut butter has protein. It is also a long, it stays in your stomach for a longer period of time because it takes longer for you to digest and break down, which means you won't be hungry for a longer period. Exactly. And I happen to have a red lightsaber chopstick next to me. So, hey, is it, is it sticking to the roofy mouth, so you got right. Oh, it's so good. I'm going to have to get some water soon. But, but um, in later tonight, we're going to be playing some Cards Against Humanity on my channel with uh, Dark Designer and maybe a few other friends who want to join in. Audience participation is also appreciated. It's, it's going to be late now, so all of you UK people, I hope you have a lovely night. If you already went to bed and are listening to this later, I'm sorry you missed it. But uh, it was it, it was great. It was hilarious. It was, it was wonderful. There were no awkward moments, I promise. I can't believe you said <laughs> that thing about that one thing. You know the thing we're talking about. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, that was ridiculous. Those two cards together were great. I know. I It's it's almost like they created world peace, but then we all forgot yes. what it was. Uh-huh. Yeah, it was I solved movie. it. It being everything... It was just, just a moment of. As we speak, I'm I'm organizing an expedition for my necromancer 
to drag a bunch of people out into the desert to go explore some ruins to find out more about mummies. <laughs> Never winter. Yep. Uh, is that it, mate? Have you? Is that? Yeah, a... yeah that's it. Mm-hmm. Not a whole lot. Shout out, Sam, and I think. Um, yes, yeah, stupidly epic, as I say, for the excellent donation of a hundred bucks. Thank you very much, sir. Um, people in chat, as always, you know, for the raids, shout outs, and all that good stuff during the week for us. And Fem Fox, if you're there, thank you. It was yep, always shout a pleasure. out to Fem Fox. Glad to see yep. you streaming again. It was fun. It if was you're fun. Awake, come join Cards Against Humanity. Or join Tigwhippies again. I, 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 I care a little less on the strict rules of things, so. Be offensive, it's fine. Just don't breach terms of service. That's basically my rule on it. They just don't breach terms of service. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. Don't breach turtleneck. Terms of service. Turtleneck. By the way, um, I'm wearing a V neck today, but I'm blocking with a mic. Yeah, exactly. Well, I, I I don't have that luxury. My mic is out of out of camera. We'll get you, we'll we'll get you a mic to put in camera. It won't work, but we'll get you a mic that'll. It's I'll just a little mic sticking out here. What's yeah, that? Um, That's my on-camera mic. I'll get like yeah. one of those crane arm lamp arms, and just like hot glue. Like I mean, I have the same crane arm that it. you do. <laughs> yeah, just keep a pretend boom mic and just drops it and just bang on your head at the time. It's, it's, it's like <laughs> that's oh that's that's them. No, that that's chat. See chat right there. Also, uh, give Dougie a shout out as well because you know Dougie's cool. He's a good streamer. Mm-hmm. Good find Organized a um, he organized a PUBG community event last night for, uh, last week. Pub uh, platform thirty two, which I joined in. It was rather. Uh, you guys got any other shout outs? Um, Peter Potter. Well, look, Peter. <laughs> Shout out to peanut butter. Oh, oh, oh! Uh, <laughs> uh, I was gonna make a joke, but it's it's not it's not right. It's a brand name. It's not. It's it's a store name. It's not. It's not. It's, it's, it's not GIF. It's not from... graphical. I don't even. Find it. It's 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 probably it probably is GIF. Just you're not paying the extra fifty cents for GIF. Like a dollar twenty. Oh, <laughs> yeah. fucking rip off. Yep. <laughs> Buy mom and pop. Yeah, mom, mom and pop. One that supports the mom. That's my shout out for tonight. All of the traditional stores out there run by small, small groups, little small businesses, little restaurants, little shopping places. That Indian curry place down the corner. Go say hi to them. They probably make some wonderful food. The fucking Thai place in Bristol? Oh, yeah. I know which one you're talking about. <laughs> fucking hometown pizza. Best pizza in America is obviously made by Albanians. Hilltop. Hilltop, hands down. Hilltop's uh, too strong. Uh, but but fucking hometown, too, in Harwin. Hilltop man. is Greek, though. Hilltop is Greek pizza. Yeah, but the thing it's is, big, like, I... fluffy. It's bready. It's amazing. Yeah, the thing is, like, they, theirs is, like, kind of slim down, sleek. Just perfect oh, pizza. Uh, I hate I hate thin pizza. I hate thin it's, pizza. But it's not thin crust pizza. It's just like thinner pizza. I don't like thin pizza. I like I like a bready pizza. I, I like I like Greek. I don't want any Italian pizza. I don't want any of these Italian esque pizzas. I want me some big old fashioned bready juicy Greek pizza. But here's the bad. Here's the thing though. Is there such thing as bad pizza? Yeah, sadly. Yeah, I mean, we're not talking about Pizza Hut and Domino's here. No, they're still all right. They're all right. As long as you get them from a college town. You get them from a college town. Yeah, well, the, most college towns is, is usually decent fast food around the place. Yeah, so it's because like, they, they're, they're, they're just turn. They have so much turnover of stock, it doesn't have enough time to get stale. That's that's the key. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, but shout out to Mom and Pop. Mm-hmm. Go. Um, to those of you who like yarn and like knitting, I'm going to throw some links at you guys today, because I'm going to shout out my family on the topic. Um, 
Let's see, little elephant. I think, I think my mom's little elephant yarn. See, I'm just gonna use these commands that I made. Do it now. Where's where's that? Ah, to shout out all the people in the in the links yep. so people can do our individual stuff like her. Boom! Oh, oh that's the wrong button. Shall we say? Oh, my gosh. So what I got I gotta make sure those are, all of our things are out. And of course but going you, to the extra life. If you like yarn, if you like knitting, check out that link right there. Little elephant yarn on Etsy. That's my own mother making her own yarn, dyeing things. You got things like Legacy, which is a nice golden brown marbled. You I got stuff like yarn. Saltwater taffy, which is a delightful blend of a chocolatey brown, a red, and a light blue. You've got things like mountain floral, which are grays and blues. Wine and roses, which is exactly what you imagine it to be. It's phenomenal. Also, it's, it is uh, really good stuff, too. Quality wise, I can't. I can. Um, I can attest to this. I have seen it. I have touched it. Um, mm -hmm. There's also a corgi there, so uh -huh. um, she she I imagine is CEO and uh, chief human resources officer of the company. Yes. Um, and and master if, of if pets. you're not if you're not finding anything to your liking from my my mother, you can also find more yarns at onceuponacorgi.com. Yes. Mm hmm Clothings, um, different different uh, yarns. You you can find all sorts of things. This is run by my my dear sister and her corgis. But they've got all sorts of stuff. They got finger weights, DK weights, Aaron weights. They got all sorts of stuff you not you you want. And to those of you who are in New England and in the States, you might even see Once Upon a Corgi yarns on the shelves at your local store. I'm just, I'm so proud of my family. I'm so proud of them. Makes me happy. All right, I'm good. Nice. Okay. So that's Show much. review. <laughs> family. 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 So, so what did we learn today, everybody? Quick show wrap up. Uh, money for kids equals Fortnite and happiness, family and mom and pop. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And meme. Memed. And, and memes are alive. And memes. Mm -hmm. So obviously, I have to choose the song. Uh, so I, I immediately know what we need to go out to. I just have to find the music for it. If this is it. could be ah here it is so have a good night everybody this has been the game we'll play catch so. you next week you will all enjoy the song because i believe this is the uh this is the perfect thing to go out to it's going to be super epic super nice